the main line here starts off the d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, check, bishop d2, queen goes to e7, g3, knight goes to c6. We already saw this, this position. Uh, and now if bishop g2, we were exchanging here, forcing knight b1 to take d2. As in case of queen takes d2, there is knight e4 and then queen b4 check, causing some problems for white. So, white could be just a little bit wiser and now play knight c3 immediately instead of bishop g2. So, black now will need to exchange here in order to take this dark square bishop. But, um, okay, this is the main line here, there are a lot of theory. Uh, for us it could be interesting to study something new, something slightly different, something a little bit surprising. So let's go for just castle. Bishop takes g2 and knight a5. Very, very surprising move. Uh, well, there are no so many games on this subject played as, uh, well, as n n not as many as bishop takes c3 in the beginning, but here also there are some practical examples too. And, well, it looks like that b3 is the main and only opportunity here. However, deserves huge attention c4, c5. Well, after first look, I thought that it's uh, really very ugly and uh, premature, but it's not very easy to punish this move by black. For example, what we could do is just simply, well, let's say, let's go back with the knight, because anyway, this knight is not doing there anything on a5. I'm gonna play later b6 or d6, and knight already is watching for this square. Now after a3, okay your castle is also possible but black is able to destroy the chain quickly and for in my opinion it's just equality. Rook e8 taking, now this bishop also would be exchanged putting the rook on c8, f or a not sure yet and just equality. So, a3 looks, seems to me much more critical. Now, after bishop takes c3, bishop takes c3, black has some, some two very interesting continuations. One is d6, again with the same idea of destroying the center, and another one, knight e4. Let's say after d6, of course, white needs to play b4, because if he decides to take here, we will get some similar position as in the previous variation, knight e4, this bishop will be taken, bishop d7, and position is in the equality zone. So, white should play something like b4, pawn takes, and pawn b takes. I don't really trust in pawn d takes because now black plays e5, opens the bishop and gets some serious count play. Knight d5, f5 and very interesting maneuver, bishop d7 planning at some point to make this some kind of Dutch idea, bishop e8, bishop h5. Okay, this position is playable, however, a little bit risky. Another alternative is simply knight e4. I don't want to play something like d6. First of all, I'll try to eat bishop c3. Now, after queen d3, knight takes, queen takes, we may play even d5. Bishop d7, b4, a6. What we could say about this position? It's a little bit passive, but still very solid. Black may plan f6, 
and later some regroupation of the pieces like bishop e8, bishop g6 or bishop h5 or simply queen f7, rook e8 and hope to push e5. I think c5 needs more investigation, more analysis and this looks like quite promising move at least in case of getting complicated, very um, dynamical positions. Main position, main, main continuation of the line is b3 that is played in much more games. Now in this case we may just continue b6 and I'm absolutely not afraid moves like knight e5 because it just will be answered by bishop b7 and now if bishop takes b7, knight takes b7, castle and it's my turn to strike in the center.